Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast I determine the moment of each of our three forces about point A and point B. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Bella. We have been asked to determine the moment of each of our uh, three forces about point A, that's the first case, and then about point B, that's the second case. So what we need to do is uh, to rewrite these particular forces into their various components in the X and in the Y. And after we've done so, then we'll take moments about A for case 4-7 and moments about B for case 4-8. Right, so let's write down the components. For F1, we are going to have this like that and this like that right let me take it up to somewhere there right like that like that and then for uh, f2 we're going to have a component like this and a component like this okay there we go there we go and this one there we're going to have component like that and another one like that great so since we've done that now let's add some information so this we expect this to be equal to 250 uh, cos 30 all right and then this one we expect this to be equal to 250 sine 30 okay since we know what sine 30 is is 0.5 therefore this becomes a 125 right that's half mm -hmm. then here we have 300 uh, let me just wrap it a little bit so we have 300 uh, cos 60 and we know what cos 60 is it's also 0.5 so this is 150 this one is 300 sine um, it's not too visible 300 uh, sine uh, 60 we'll leave it like this and then finally we have this one this one is 500 times the the run which is a 3 divided by a 5 this is going to be equal to um, 300 then this one we have 500 by the rise which is a 4 divided by 5 this is going to be equal to the 400 right so let's start with case case 4 dash 7 since there are two problems there so we want to find moments about point A just moments about point A due to these forces uh, that we've rewritten into the components X and Y. So, we'll say summation of moments about point A and clockwise being our reference, this is going to be equal to. Let me just draw a reference line so that I'll know where to end, so that I leave space for the rest. Okay, maybe this one I will bring it over here. Maybe this line does took too much space. Why don't we put it somewhere here like that? Sorry. Uh huh. Maybe somewhere there, right? So let's say this is. Let's start again. This is case case four dash seven. So we have summation of moments about point A and clockwise being our reference what do we have we have a negative moment which is a negative 250 uh, cos 30 times 
the lever arm which is a 2. We have another negative moment minus uh, 300 of course uh, 125 will not cause any moment about point A because the lever arm is equal to what? 0. So we have a neg another negative moment which is 300 sine uh, 60 times the lever arm which is a 5. Then we have another negative moment of course 150 this one here will not cause any moment about point A because uh, again the lever arm is equal to 0. We have another negative moment which is a 400 times um, times 5 again. Then we have a positive moment which is equal to uh, 300 times 4. Okay. Therefore, the summation of moments about point A is just going to be equal to grab your calculators. Uh, we have a minus 250 cos this is 30 right mm -hmm. 250 cos 30 by 2 minus 300 sine 60 by 5 minus 400 by 5 plus 300 by 4 so we get a negative a negative 25 25.32.05 newton meters okay this can also be written as this summation of moments is equal to 225.32.05 newton meters and this is clockwise like this you can either put this sign there or the other side doesn't matter all right so this is the moment about point a this is the moment about point a uh, so let's work out the other case which is case uh, case 4 dash h which is now the summation of moments about point A, I mean point B. So because we'll be taking moments about point B, we don't expect 500 F3 to participate. So we'll have summation of moments about point B and clockwise in our reference. This is going to be equal to, um, let's start. Uh, 250 cos 30 is causing and clockwise. So this is positive. So 250 uh, cos 30 by the lever arm. What's the lever arm? This is not very visible. Uh, cos, uh, cos what? 30 by the lever arm. Lever arm is 3. And then we have a negative moment from uh, to 125, 125 uh, bang uh, 4, that's clockwise, by 4, minus uh, 300, this one will not participate, because the lever arm is equal to 0, but 150 will, and it's giving us a negative, I mean a positive, a positive, anti-clockwise so we have 150 by um, by 4 okay therefore summation of moments about point B is just going to be equal to grab your calculators so we have 250 cos 13 uh, by 3 minus 125 by 4 plus 150 by 4 so we have a positive 749 point five 
two newton meters and this one is and clockwise okay which is this all right so we are done we are done let me just outline my final solution in this particular case we have the first solution there we have the, the other solution for case number two all right so i hope the video was helpful i really hope the video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel Bye-bye. See you in my next uh, screencast.